it all sort of started in Gainesville, Florida, like this small college town. Growing up here in you know this area of Florida where there's not much happening, what we would do is we'd go to these Florida Amateur Skateboard League contests. They call them Fassel. It wasn't a career at the time. It was just you know the local shop giving you some stuff, and then you know you win a contest here and there, and the next thing you know you, you go to California, and eventually like won a contract with Vans for their Warp Tour Amateur Contest Series. The very first time I realized something was off balance was during a skate tour in Europe. I was in Germany and uh, got pulled over for drinking and driving. Did a backflip off the cop car to like show that I wasn't drunk and that got me put right into a hospital there. That was the first time I had diagnosed with manic depression or a bipolar disorder. Being an alcoholic or using drugs, I always blamed it on those two things. And so I would stay sober and, and things would go well. But when it happened, even without drinking, that's when I knew something was, was up. I feel like the manic depression that I was dealing with at the time, my, my career got fucked up from it because you end up getting locked up in a psych ward. You know, the guys hear about that at the contest or your sponsors hear about that. It makes it so you've made these connections, but you're never gonna get the shoe. You're never gonna get the cover of the magazine. You're not gonna get the board necessarily with the company because there's this, you know, thing in the background that it's like, it's a risk. And it's not like you're upset at the company about it, you're just upset with yourself. The worst part about going through hospitalization is that you lose your freedom. Imagine you're in, you're in the hospital and you're telling the doctor that I'm a pro skateboarder, I have a little company that I do, and I've traveled around and used to live in Europe. And to him, that sounds all made up. It's like a fake thing. And it always takes my mom or my sister or somebody to contact the hospital and be like, no, these are real things. Like, this is actually a story, but he needs treatment. What kept happening was they would release me and I'd be on all these medicines and get out and just do something stupid and get put right back in. You end up getting in fights with people that you love or like getting, you know, kicked out of a place that you go to all the time. Even your friends will be trying to explain to you like, hey man, I think there's something wrong. And one of the worst episodes happened, you know, about eight, six months ago or something. I started drinking heavily, you know, end up buying weed in Washington Square Park, sleeping there, lost my apartment, you know, broke up with the girlfriend, like everything fell apart. But when I was going through the mania time, I would come to Washington Square Park and like skate in this circle instead of going to meeting with my friends at Tompkins. I didn't want to be around anybody. I ended up sleeping back here, like behind this monument a couple nights. It was crazy. But like to even imagine doing that now, like I couldn't picture it. And it was a wake up call. I need to, to take the initiative to like, whether it's taking, you know, the medicine that they give me for the manic depression. And for years, I didn't want to take it because it made you feel awful. You feel like you're t having a chemical lobotomy. Imagine taking a medicine and one of the side effects is suicide. Like that's crazy. If you're feeling that way, you have to tell the doctor and maybe they'll lower the dosage, change the medicine. I've started taking it and it's helped me. It's, it's made my life manageable. If I didn't have friends this last time that took everything from my apartment and put it into storage while I was in the hospital, I would have literally lost everything that I've ever worked for in my life. Your friends is what keeps you from being like, fuck it, I wish I was dead. Yo, what's oh, up? Shit. Yeah. Good, man. Nice to see you. Billy's been skating out here for over 20 years, and Billy's been great inspiration for a lot of the kids when they get a chance to look at New York City skate legends. Mentally, skateboarding is like how a lot of psychiatrists say art therapy helps with your mind if you're depressed. For me, skateboarding is the same way. It's my art. It helps you break away from that like sort of winter depression.
it feels really good to just be back in like my normal state of mind and hopefully I'll stay here forever where I can have a successful life and just, you know, be of some sort of value to the skate world, you know?